Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to MTV Cribs, yo! Uh, just kidding, this is Hibbert's home tech as usual, uh, but I thought I would show you around this room. Uh, reason being is, over the last year I've been asked a lot, Paul, what is all that stuff in the background? So I thought I would show you the stuff in the background. Uh, now I need to start out by saying, I'm not a rich guy. Uh, I can already see them, there's, there's a lot of comments right down there going, Look at that rich douchebag! He's so rich, what a douchebag! Uh, this is actually nine years of stuff that have been bought for me as presents for birthdays and Christmases. Uh, my partner is clinically insane. I mean, she has to be because, well, I'm this guy. Uh, but that has resulted in her saying when we first moved in, Why don't you have the biggest room in the house, Paul, and put all of our cool stuff in it that I have given you? And this is all of my cool stuff. So I'm not 100% sure how to do this, I don't know that I'm going to do the MTV Cribs thing and have things go hyperspeed every now and again to hide the fact that I'm totally amateur. This room's been totally cleaned by the way, it took like 3 hours, it never normally looks this good, probably shouldn't tell you that. These are my guitars, I love them very very much, I love them so much I put hats on them. This is my Line 6 amp, it's an AX212, you won't see any of these about anymore. Basically Line 6 realised that it had given too much away in one go and then started making cut down versions of this called Spider. Don't get a spider, get one of these. So this is a 1977 Gibson L6S, it is my pride and joy, my dad gave it me for my 19th birthday and I am infatuated with it. A uh, funny story, I once left it in a band practice space that burnt down in the middle of the night, uh, but a burglar stole it whilst the building was on fire, and then later on heard in a pub from one of my friends how I was crying every night of the week, and then gave it back to me. A burglar stole my guitar from a burning building, and then gave it back to me. Amazing. This is a Fender P bass, it's uh, a gift again from Nisha, she just buys the most awesome gifts, this whole room is surrounded by them. Uh, this is the same guitar that Phil Linnett used to play in Thin Lizzy, and that's exactly why she bought it for me, because goddamn, the woman has taste. This is the cutest guitar I own, and this is my ukulele. Uh, fun fact, this is the only guitar you can play on the toilet. Possibly the most ridiculous present Nisha's ever bought me, this is a full-size electronic drum kit. Uh, and this is actually what you can hear me playing right now, so all this music you're hearing is in fact me, uh, and it's all been played in this room using the instruments I'm showing you right now. Then up here we've got Star Wars Corner, where I've got my R2-D2, which I spent way too much money on, uh, and my lightsaber of course, which is yet another point of pride for me, I think this is one of the coolest things I own, uh, and it's yet another gift from Nisha. Basically, if you can see it in this room, Nisha probably bought it. So then we've got my Star Wars Rogue One poster on the wall, uh, which was a gift from Misha's sister at Christmas time last year. Uh, and then this light, which you've probably seen shining on the left-hand side of my face every video, uh, and causing me to squint and making people probably think I'm pretty weird. Over here we've got Nisha's easel, which I bought for her for Christmas so she could do art. She's done no art. Uh, that's not fair, Nisha's actually done some really cool stuff on here already. She is like super talented as well as a really good gift buyer. Then you've got this that you'll see in the background in all my videos. This again is just chocked full of awesome stuff. Uh, these are my Marty McFly sneakers with the sports almanac in the background and the you're fired thing at the back. Uh, and it's of course got the blast from the past receipt there from the future in the past in the future. Then we've got my Nintendo Entertainment System, which I have a major love affair with because it was my first ever console. Uh, I've never plugged it in. I don't know if it even works. I'm pretty sure it does, uh, but it's really here just to make me feel good every time I walk into this room. And by golly, it makes me feel good. This is the Dirty Dirty Trumpet. Uh, but it's my dirty, dirty trumpet, and it's yet another gift from Nisha. Uh, this is in the background of all my videos again because I'm a massive Scar fan, uh, so just having a brass instrument on the wall in the background just kind of gives that little inkling of me. That little bit of me is in here again. This is my Fender Blues Junior 3, and once again I am in love with this thing. Uh, this is played on a stage at least once a month, so it's something that is truly loved and used. And I had to wash all the spit and beer off it uh, so I could record this video. 
This is definitely the most extravagant thing I ever bought myself in the history of ever. I'm a massive Batman fan and so it just felt worth it. This was a gift to me and I don't care because it is gorgeous. But stupid! It is seriously stupid. You can't wear this thing. People are like, hey man, put it on. And I'm like, hey man, I can't. It's made out of clay. These are some of the most asked about things. These are my canvases. Uh, and if you're wondering why you can't find them anywhere, that's because I made them. They are mine. Uh, they are digital pieces of artwork that I call tools of the trade. So we've got uh, the Terminator arm. We've got the arc reactor from Iron Man. We've got Batman's cowl. Uh, we've got the Ghostbusters trap. We've got Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. Uh, and we've got the flux capacitor from Back to the Future. Uh, there is one of these for sale, it's the Luke Skywalker one, I'll put the link in the description. But if loads of people start buying them, you'll just ruin my life, because I won't have time to produce them all. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. So I'm a big fan of the original Tim Burton Batman movies, uh, and this is my little homage to that. Uh, this is the closest I'll ever come to owning a real Batmobile, uh, and it sits on my desk looking pretty while I work away, uh, and keeps me happy whilst I'm making these videos for you. Then of course we've got Alexa who is going insane right now. Uh, I think I've got her on the wrong power supply so she's just kind of constantly rebooting. Uh, and she never gets used anyway. I spend so much time making videos for you guys that all my automation is broken and <laughs> I haven't got time to fix it. This is my arc reactor. When I first bought this from Amazon it was some 3D printed piece of garbage. Uh, I hand painted it myself, added a few bits to it and then put it in a plastic cake case. This is a cake case. Uh, put LEDs in a cake case and you can make anything look awesome. So this is the Logitech G920 steering wheel. It is the best bang for buck steering wheel going. So it's not the best steering wheel out there, so all you snobs that are going, eh, what's that? It's a really good steering wheel, screw you. This is my Focusrite 2i2 sound card and I can highly recommend this. Uh, super cheap and everything you can hear right now is going through this, from the voiceover, uh, to the music, to every video you watch me do, the sound has been recorded through a decent microphone, of course, but through this sound card ultimately. This is my rather bland looking PC. Uh, under the hood, you've got these things. Here are some specs about some stuff. Uh, in there, the, probably the most important thing is the GeForce 1080 graphics card, which somehow, magically, is still underpowered for making these videos. How is that possible? I don't know. That was my Oculus Rift there, which no man cave should be without. And when I get some downtime, I tend to play racing games, which is what this steering wheel is for. There are loads of people going, eh, there are much better steering wheels, or why don't you get a HTC Vive? Told you, not a rich man, not a rich man. Something less self-indulgent next week, I would think. Uh, something hopefully a little bit more technical for you, but I had to answer this question, didn't I? I had to show you this beautiful palace of a place. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help support my channel, there are links in the description to do that too. I'll see you next time. Uh, so I've said... <laughs> Super self indulgent <laughs> MTV Cribs, yo! Uh, the, pff, that's terrible. <laughs>